Welcome to Reality Create a Video. I'm Hermes. I got my shades on. Oh, kidding aside, I actually use these. They're not just a gimmick. Uh, the lasers that I use to view the colloidals are very, very bright. And the plasma arc, when I um, make uh, plasma arc colloidals, is extremely bright. And you do have to take precautions to protect your eyes from these things. Just a note. But, that aside, today we're going to talk about pain management. So I went around the house and my lab here and, and collected all of the things that help with pain management and stress related stuff. And we're going to go through them all, hopefully, you know, fairly quickly. And we one or two will catch your eye and you'll say, oh yeah, let me try that. We all deal with pain and stress in our lives every day. I don't care who you are. Everyone has it at some point. And so there are some... Uh, alchemical and um, you know herbal solutions and there's lots more but I just wanted to show you the few that I'm using right now uh, in various shapes and forms as you'll see here uh, so all right some of this is topical only and some of this is you can drink or and use topically the same so where would my alchemy be let's start with colloidal platinum you could drink this. You could also use it topically. Uh, it's better drink drinking it. Uh, it is it, even though if you look up on the internet about colloidal platinum, uh, it doesn't mention that it's a pain reliever. But I have found it's, it seems to be an anti-inflammatory. And if you take it for several days, you find your pain tolerance levels, you know, lowering. In other words, not your tolerance of low. You find your pain levels lowering. And I only realized that it was actually doing something after I stopped taking it. So it's the kind of thing that it happens so gradually you don't realize that your pain levels are coming down because you're taking the platinum. And platinum is also an anti-cancer. Uh, it's an anti-cancer uh, drugs. So you might get double benefit from doing the platinum. All right. Uh, what else we got? Okay. So this is... DMSO, it's not something, it's something I've talked about in, uh, before. It's a di dimethanol sulfoxide sulf liquid. I think it's, it's basically sulfur. Uh, and this is a very good pain reliever. You can use this on your, uh, skin mostly. You can also drink this. Uh, I've used it on my gums to, uh, clear up gum infections. Uh, it tastes, quite honestly, it tastes like motor oil. So, but it, you can drink it too if you want to low. I have uh, some associate that actually drinks this to lower his pain levels in his body. Uh, I don't. It, like I said, the taste is horrific. But um, it, it, I do use it on my gums when I had some gum problems. So, and it's good for, good for, you can, the MSO you can mix with other topical stuff to amplify it. It's like an emulsifier, but it's also a pain reliever. And um, so whatever you put it with will actually be amplified. So like if I were to mix it, and I often do, with Woodlock or Tiger Bomb, it makes the Woodlock and Tiger Bomb more potent because it opens the pores and goes right in. So if you have something, an achy elbow or something like that, uh, you might want to mix it with uh, whatever stuff that you might even, and, you know, not that I, you know, they have these anti, these arthritis creams. Uh, you can mix it with your arthritis cream to help increase the uh, strength of it going into your body. You want to do that too. It's very safe uh, in that respect. I mix it up. Like I said, this is Woodlock, uh, really stinky stuff, but it is a great pain reliever, topical only. You don't drink the Woodlock. Uh, Maybe uh, uh, topical only. It's good for aches and pains and stuff like that. Where is my... Oh, Dick got you out. Hold on. See, I got so much of this stuff. So much different pain reliever stuff around. I don't even, when I have a problem, I'm like, which one do I want to use now? But anyway, Dick got you out. It's a Chinese recipe uh, used for the, the, in the dojos. 
might be, yeah, I guess it's Chinese. Uh, could be Japanese. I don't know. Anyway, Dit Dot Jiao is one of these oriental recipes. Uh, they use them in the dojo when they have get injury, bruises, and things like that. It's absolutely terrific uh, for stuff like that. I, again, like to mix this with, uh, I'll mix this with uh, DMSO and me, and even Woodlock uh, to make it even, or Tiger Bomb to make it more potent. So Tiger Bomb is just like Woodlock, okay? It's just a different formula formulation. This is more of a liquid. This is more of a paste. And sometimes a paste sticks a little bit better than the liquid. So I use them both. So that's a, that, I think that covers the topical end of the spectrum. Let's, let's, I know we started with the, 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 the platinum for the drinking. So this is ashwanga root. I love ashwanga root. It is a pain reliever inside the body. Uh, it is an anti-inflammatory. It also makes you feel better. Uh, a, a mood stabilizer. They might have other properties, but that's what I use it for. I buy the powder. This is the powder. And I make my capsules. I put it in capsules and I'll take it. I'll also sprinkle this in with my tea. It's not a terrifically tasting uh, tasting sort of thing, so you might want to put it in capsules and drink it. But if you're desperate, and sometimes I'm pretty desperate, I will make ashwanga root with St. John's wort. And make a tea. This is St. John. This is just a box of St. John's Wort tea. I actually have the loose tea uh, that I would make my own tea bags with, or even capsules. And St. John's Wort, like a Schwanger root, is um, is a relaxant. Uh, St. John's Wort is more for emotional stability, whereas this is, this uh, Schwanger root is more for uh, stress. Uh, but if you put them both together, you really got something that just kind of like, woo, just kind of numbs you out for a while. And I got news for you. You know, when stress hits and pain hits, you might want to numb yourself out a little bit. So St. John's Wort and Ashwanga Root. Turmeric. This is an age-old thing. It's been around for a while. Turmeric is a good anti-inflammatory. Again, this is, you can take turmeric. Uh, you can even just spoon it in your mouth if you want to. Um, you should mix it with black pepper though, a small amount of black pepper because turmeric works better when it's coupled with black pepper, black pepper to help digest the turmeric and get the full nutrient benefit of the turmeric in your body. So like if you had a teaspoon of this, you would just sprinkle, put a couple sprinkles of black pepper on top of it. What I do here is I mix it all in one in this, in this thing. I, I have a big bag of turmeric naturally. And I'll fill this up and just put, uh, you know, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper in there. And then just go shake this, shake it up to get the black pepper all around. And then I will either take this, um, sprinkle this on my food. You know, that's why it's in this sort of thing. Okay, I might sprinkle it on some food like eggs in the morning or something like that. You don't need a lot of it. Uh, and it does add some flavoring as well. So you can do that too. You could also put them in capsules. I put this in capsules as well uh, because large amounts of turmeric can stain. So I, I don't know if they can stain your teeth, but it's possible. Uh, so large amounts of turmeric, um, you might want to put in a capsule and take, take and swallow the capsules. So, all right, let's go with this is, this is a blended tea. Uh, I'm bring, just bringing it out because it's got cinnamon, green tea, and cloves in it. And these three are very good together. Um, I'll, I'll link to this. It's on. This is on Amazon. It's a nice tasting tea. I like to have it when I want something more sweet uh, from my matcha tea. And I've talked about matcha tea as as a matcha tea is like a great superfood antioxidant kind of thing. I've talked about that in the past. I, I, could, I gotta run all the way out into the kitchen to get the matcha tea thing. But anyway, matcha tea is something else that you might want to ask uh, add to your, your into, into your daily diet. I have a matcha tea a day. I did a, a show uh, on ma mixing matcha tea with um, you a, a couple weeks ago on matcha tea and holy basil. They make a great combination. Kind of like green tea and cloves and cinnamon. They're kind of like necessary ingredients for making the body work better. Um, you, 
And so I do like to include these in my diet in helping me feel better and work better. Now, the final thing I want to talk about is this tea, which was a friend of mine from India turned me on. It's called S-A-M-A-H-A-N. And it's got a whole bunch of ingredients I'm not going to read off right now. Some of them I don't know what it is. But it's an all-natural tea. It's a really good tasting tea. And it I like it in the evenings. It actually uh, relaxes me. It, there's an anti-inflammatory uh, part in this tea, which is very potent. And I like to have this in the evenings just to relax and, you know, help help go to sleep. Uh, it's not doesn't make you sleepy. You can drink it during the day, but it's it's kind of a relaxing tea. So I want to bring this to your attention. It's not in the cheap river. It's not cheap, so uh, you know, be prepared when you see the price of this tea. So that is my pain and stress relief roundup of stuff for for today. I mean, I have a whole cabinet full of different things, but this is what I was able to grab. And some of this stuff, you're going to gonna immediately say, yeah, I want to try that. And some of it, you'll say, nah, I don't want to. Let your consciousness drag you towards what you need the best to bring your healing to yourself. I'm Hermes. This is Reality Creative Video slash Alchemy. And I will talk to you again soon.